Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Unfortunately, it's a vacation time and it's a vacation time for my server, but nevertheless, everybody has enough time to play call of dragons so do i so let's keep it rolling right today we are going to speak regarding the best infantry hero pair in the whole game if you have played call of dragons at least two to three months you understand that every time whenever you are fighting you are seeing this infantry hero pair which is crushing the enemies especially if you are tier 5 player even as a tier 4 player you are doing amazingly well this two, this two new hero pair uh, which came out two seasons ago is still popular and still the best infantry hero pair which we have had in Call of Dragons for a while uh, unfortunately my audio will be different because I'm on vacation but nevertheless I hope you guys will love this video so let's roll today we are going to speak about Goresh and Skogul well it's easy to understand if you have played this game for a couple of months that Goresh and Skogul have been the best performing infantry hero pair in the whole game in order for us to understand why this hero pair is so strong even for tier 4 and tier 5 players we need to understand what kind of synergies this hero pair has and what kind of play style you want to play whenever you are playing Goresh and Skolgul. Uh, with this hero pair, Goresh is primary, Skolgul is secondary, so in order for us to understand, we need to know the skill set of the both heroes, right? The first skill, which is always the most important, Wild Blood, uh, it's like duration, it has six seconds, uh, it generally gives a physical attack key to 50% which is a lot and a damage uh, resistance like reduction 15% uh, also duration is six seconds and honestly six seconds is quite a lot of time whenever you are fighting because every single second matters and six is quite a lot in this case the second skill is counter attack damage 20 percent and infantry defense 50 percent generally i really like hp uh, more than defense on defensive type of uh, heroes but here we have defense bonus right the third skill when legion launches a counter attack they have 50 percent chance to deal additional damage to up to five surrounding legions so basically you will be dealing 200 skill damage factor to five surrounding enemies enemies each additional legion targeted reduces damage taken by 15 percent this effect can be triggered up to twice per second amazing skill right like um, five surrounding enemies dealing damage is just purely perfect so let's see uh, what kind of other skills we're gonna have for Goresh. The fourth skill is about uh, Stronghold and Sieging. You are getting simply attack bonus up to 20%. The Awakening skill is simply giving us more powerful first skill. Uh, here we have 60% physical keen and 20% uh, damage reduction, which is resistance. Overall, I really like this uh, skill set. We have defensive skills we have uh, offensive skills it's it's a bit of a mix and uh like every single skill which is important for infantry hero for example counter attack damage in general some damage some defensive stats you have everything here right let's check skogul and let's find out um, what kind of synergies we are going to have uh, with the goresh right the so first and main skill um, blood soaked battle uh, skogul legion gains vigor and blood fury for three seconds uh vigor is is like hp uh bonus plus seven percent here but it's, it's gonna be up until 15 percent and duration is six seconds right uh pretty interesting skill let's find out if we are gonna have any synergies with it right the second skill is hp bonus up to 10 percent as i have mentioned i really like hp bonuses in general in call of dragons like i prefer hp over almost every single stat and also infantry unit physical attack bonus up to 20 percent the third skill, while in the field, the Legion gains 60% march speed uh, every time they berserk charge and 1% attack every time they launch a counter attack up to maximum uh, 10%, up to maximum 25% well pretty interesting skill uh, this is a lot of march speed for a infantry hero uh, which is which gonna give us a lot of mobility and 25 percent max attack bonus is quite good right 
the fourth skill is healing factors 350 healing factor um, you're gonna have like 10 percent chance of re uh, receiving this healing factor whenever you are simply attacking right the awakening skill is infantry units in skogus legion deals 10 percent more counter-attack damage well really interesting awakening skill also right so what we find out about goresh and skogul we have everything right right which we need for infantry heroes to work we have counter attack damage we have some healing we have some shields um but we have some damage reduction defense bonus uh hp bonus here right lot of physical attack bonuses so i'm really interested and really like this hero pair and that's why i mentioned at the start of the video that goresh and skogul is the best infantry hero pair um, until forever right like i'm really interested what kind of heroes they want to make um like next infantry heroes so they will be better than these two hero pair these two uh, heroes because this is just perfect for infantry right and uh, like everything we what you want to get uh, from infantry hero pair you are getting from goresh and skull that's why uh, it's been the popular hero pair for tier 5 players for uh, tier 4 players generally if you have these two heroes and you like to play infantry you are lucky man or woman because you have perfect hero pair for your infantry gameplay right as i have mentioned goresh should be the uh, primary hero that's generally um, what everybody runs and in my opinion the reason why goresh should be the primary because of the tank talent tree i think tank talent tree is the best talent tree for infantry heroes so let's check it out which kind of talents will be great for goresh right um like impregnable defense your legion gains shelter when entering battle increases defense by five percent for 10 seconds that's one choice and undialing spirit when your legion is hit with a normal attack they have 10 percent chance to gain the tough reducing hero skill damage taking by eight percent for five seconds i would be going for this but uh, both of them are pretty good uh, simply because generally whenever you are playing infantry you are getting hit by mages and mages are dealing skill damage right uh in general if you are getting hit by marksman you have in general like high defense uh, nevertheless right so uh, skill damage defensive attribute would be much better because a lot of mages are hitting infantry with skill damage factors so and dialing spirit should be totally fine uh, vitality generally i don't like a lot of healing um, in on my hero pairs like one healing is already enough and skogul has 350 healing that's why hearts of iron your legion takes eight percent less normal attack damage when their unit count is below 15 percent so uh, for the talent tree impregnable defense um, i'm sorry not uh, undying spirit and uh, hearts of iron should be the choice and as i always whenever i'm speaking about talent trees don't copy and paste somebody else talent trees because uh, you need to understand what type of gameplay you want to play and you will find out by uh, reading the talents understanding what what kind of benefits they are giving to you and you're gonna play uh, from your talents right because talents are one of the most important aspects of the heroes in general so the yeah, talent tree until the full and infantry tree until the half and we have two choices here a uh, furious your legion gains keen well keen we already know what's keen it's attack bonus and cold headed uh, when your legion casts rage skill they gain shelter more defensive stats is always great on infantry so i would be going for cool headed so 100 percent more defensive stats such as defense such as hp is always great for infantry hero pairs now it's time for us to speak about artifacts and we have one perfect artifact for goresh and skogul hero pair which is spirit bone torque that's the exclusive artifact for goresh and skogul and the best one if you will get spirit bone torque and you have goresh and skogul i will be congratulating you because you already have perfect build so try to level up the heroes try to level up the skills and try to level up the spirit bone torque because that's amazing artifact for this hero pair defensive stats as an attributes and what's most important the skill mock mocking chorus grants 600 rage points and taunts up to five surrounding enemy legions with this taunt um, for tier 5 players you are just simply merit farming five is just too much amount of number right and five legions hitting you you are doing a lot of counter attack damage 
and you are dealing some damage by yourself because we you have quite a lot of attack as a Goresh and Skogul. Also, your Legion also gains Shelter and Determination. Shelter is 50% defense and uh, Determination is normal attack damage taken, minus 5%. Amazing stats, right? Additional effect, infantry units in your Legion deals 10% more counter-attack damage. What else do you want from the infantry artifact, right? This is a perfect artifact for Gorish and Skolgul, and I hope everybody is using this artifact on this hero pair, right? So now, right now, we understand what the best one. Let's just try to figure out what's the secondary artifacts for this hero pair. And I think a secondary artifact for Gorish and Skolgul should be uh, the Dragon Scale Armor. Um, one of my favorite infantry artifacts, as I have mentioned. I really like the HP bonuses on my heroes, and we have two HP bonus here. And also, you are getting Boom Shield. Shield factor is 2.2k, and duration is 10 seconds. Also, you are getting Kin, and we already know that Goresh and Skolgu has quite a lot of Kins in their play kit, right? Also, additional effect, your Legion gains range resistance when the Wilder gains a shield through the rage skill. Range and resistance, range damage taken minus 9%. Unfortunately, like we don't have any shield factors if I remember correctly, but still, I really like Dragon Scale Armor. And you should, this one should be the second choice if you don't have a uh, Spirit Bone Torque, right? Uh, also, more artifacts, more right now, it's time for us to say like third. Um, in the order, artifact would be Graymer's Warhammer, defensive stats. The good thing about Graymer's Warhammer is that you're gonna have stun and a lot of damage from your skill. So, if you have a Spirit Bone Torque, that's number one priority. If you don't have one, try to get Dragon Scale Armor. Or if you don't have Dragon Scale Armor and Spirit Bone Torque, Graymer's Warhammer should be the choice. Now, for free to play players. I think there is only one choice here, uh, which is really easy to understand. Only one uh, defensive artifact for free to play players, which is Feng of Ashkari. Uh, Legion defense stats on a bow stats, which is quite good if you ask me. Uh, and also some damage, some physical and magic damage, like uh, on the scale, which is not that important. I really like this artifact simply because it has defensive stats, right? In terms of war pets, well, we also have some exclusive war pets for Goresh and Skolgul, which is uh, Bruin Bear. Uh, but in this case, like, let's try and let's look at the tails. Let's go to the uh, Codex and let's try to uh, look at the uh, Bruin Bear from here, right? Uh, Bruin Bear is, came out with Goresh and Skolgul whenever the, this hero pair came out, and it was pretty obvious that uh, Bruin Bear was their, um, their hero pair, right? Quickening is amazing skill for Goresh and Skolgul simply because... Um, like each counter attack um, against an enemy legion inflicts one stack of barbed mark maximum is three stacks the next time the hero casts a rage kill they deal damage up to five surrounding enemies so everything which gives us like dealing damage to five enemies is all about Goresh and Skolgul right this kill which Goresh and Skolgul has which gonna deal 200 damage is uh, dealing five enemies also like spirit bone torque is taunting five enemies and quickening is dealing damage to five enemies right this is a perfect artifact perfect warped for bring for goresh and skolgul if you already have bruin bear you will be pretty happy about it right and in general i think for infantry warpets uh counter strike synergy is pretty good so uh don't try to look at some weird skills Counter-Strike is pretty good on this hero pair. Let's say you don't have any Bruin Bears in your um, collection. Venomous Lizard should be the case. Um, in this case, I really like Infection Synergy simply because you're going to stay alive uh, anyways longer with Goresh and Skolgul. And longer you're going to stay alive, more poison damage you're going to take. And also here, as you can see, I have a lot of Counter-Strike synergies, which is pretty good, in my opinion, for any infantry hero pair. Again, one more choice is, of course, Striper, because of the Vigor, because of the healing, you're gonna stay alive longer, and Vigor is like HP bonus, and as I have mentioned before, I really, really like HP bonuses in this game. So, you have three choices for your Warpets. Uh, first one is uh, Bruin Bear, second one is Venomous Lizard, and third one should be Stripe Bear, right? Uh, this is the main idea behind this hero pair. In terms of unlocking this hero pair, well, uh, Goresh is, is pretty hard because you have to have luck, get luck 
in the Wheel of Destiny whenever this hero was new. If not, then Strongest Lord is on the way for you to get um, Goresh if you are a free-to-play player right, right, like me. But in terms of Skogul, Skogul is gettable from the Lucky Spins. Um, you simply have to have like 5k uh, gems uh, to spend on Skogul Spins and I'm pretty sure you would be having 10 tokens in order for you to unlock her and after that uh, you're gonna put uh, Goresh or even Skogul on the VIP tokens and you will be able to have more levels on this hero pair right generally it's been like one of the best hero pairs in general all around the game oh, for sure for infantry i think this one is the best one and if you are infantry player if you have already goresh and skogul i'm uh, happy for you because you have a best hero pair for your class for your legion type right i hope you guys like the video i'm sorry for the bad audio because i'm on a vacation but still trying to make some videos for this amazing game and as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck